All right, guys, today we're here to hang out with some people you probably know, but don't know. Sunset School. All right, so hopefully that loud, trashy music wasn't too bad for you guys. I know some of you complain, but guys, these are our friends from Colorado. You want to introduce yourselves? What's up? I'm Brian from Sunset Silhouette. What's up? I'm Nick from Sunset Silhouette. Hey, I'm Evan. I play drums. Josh. You know me. <laughs> and I'm Jared. I'm here to entertain you guys. All right, guys. We're stoked to be out here. You know them. Now you know us. Rock on. Woo. Guys, y'all know them every day. Now you really know them. Let's go hang out with them. Guys, we had an awesome time yesterday hanging out with our buddies from Colorado. Sunset Silhouette that you saw earlier. Um, we didn't do too much footage because we just like to hang out with them and we don't get to see them very often. And so we're back to normal. We're gonna go milk. We're gonna collect some eggs. We're gonna do some stuff in the garden. So let's get on with it. As you can see over here, got an egg, another egg. I'm just gonna put it in this one for now. And then we put the duck eggs down here so the chickens will uh, want to come lay, but the duck's still laying down here. So we're just gonna stick it in there for now. So we're doing awesome with our eggs, so let's go do some milking now. Another day of milking. So we're really grateful to have this uh, milking bucket that we got. It really helps. We were just using a pot at first, and then we started using mason jars. This gives us um, a little more room to fill up if she has a little more milk. We don't have to stop at a quart. So thank you so much again for that. It was an awesome, awesome gift, and we truly appreciate it. Like we said, we're gonna be using that like twice a day. Let's check this out. Zero days. We got baby birds. We didn't even tell y'all that we were doing this. Or maybe we did, I don't remember. I don't think we did. But look at this. Guys, we got seven of them so far. They're eating some eggs. They're eating some feed, drinking some water. So we got seven of them so far in the bin. We got one of them just hatched in here. And I think there's like two more eggs that are cracked and they're trying to hatch. And then there's probably, let me see. maybe seven or eight more eggs that we're not 100% sure if they're gonna hatch or not. So we're gonna see, we're gonna let it go a whole nother day. And we're pretty excited. This is a whole new batch of birds for us. And this time, instead of keeping them inside um, for a couple of weeks, we're gonna put them straight outside, put these guys on the grass and all that from day one. Why not? Like we said, we want our animals to live as natural as possible. So we're gonna do that. As you can tell, there's another egg right there, ready to hatch. So that's pretty cool. Jared is out here cleaning up the garden, and I think he's wanting to put some uh, shells in the greenhouse and start doing some seeds. And I think Jaylena wants to as well. 
So that might be a project we get started on today. If not, maybe in the next few days. I need to go move the rabbit. I fed all the animals, but I haven't moved the rabbit today. But I was gonna pick some of this lettuce that we're not gonna eat and go give that to the rabbit as a good little snack. So let's do that real quick. This is a pretty good little mount, so I think she'll enjoy it. Let's see, she was right there. As you can see, we just move her every day. And then now let's give her some of this lettuce. We haven't been really giving Jessica Rabbit much uh, video time so figured show her a little bit she's doing all right and uh she got all this food in here to eat got all this lettuce for her let's see if she'd rather have that going for the lettuce now all right this little tree right here i didn't think it was going to grow anything and it's starting to produce some green so that's amazing we thought it was just dead. So I got a lot of hope for this little tree right here. We planted a whole bunch of them a while back. And uh, let's just go check them real quick. And we'll do it with this puppy. If anyone wants the puppy, he's yours. He's a good boy. And he's fixed. My parents got him fixed for us. Look how sweet he is. Look at that boy. Look how sweet he is. So we're looking to build shelves in here. It's like a little horseshoe shaped. Uh, I think we might go get that today, like I said earlier. And then uh, got a cucumber. I think Jared has a couple of tomatoes, but it's pretty, it's pretty cool to, uh, it's pretty cool to come out and get some food. <clears throat> got these coming out. A lot of them. And then I'm real curious when it comes to this corn. Look at this. So I'm not really sure what that means. Maybe it flowers on top, but this looks like it's corn husk and stuff in here. So does the corn grow from here or up here? Let us know if this looks normal, if this is good, bad, not gonna grow. Um, a lot of them are like that. Like we said, we're not really worried if it grows or not. This is an, an experiment to see if they would grow. But as you could tell, this one's doing basically the same thing. And wait, you know, they're all kind of doing that. So let us know. Good, bad, I don't know. Not a bad little uh, hall. There's a lot of peppers down in here. So not too bad. So as you can tell, some of the stuff is kind of, the sun's kind of getting to it, it's a little hot, we can't seem to water it enough, but all the viney stuff is doing absolutely amazing. Our green onions and stuff are doing good, and then the peppers are just outrageous. Just every day, come out and pick them all. Uh, the okra, we're really watching. Uh, a lot of you said, check out Roots and Refuge, her video on the okra, sometimes she picks them twice a day because they grow that fast, so we're trying to keep an eye on it, but um, I think Jared might make some salsa with this stuff and uh, just try to eat what we can from all of this stuff. All right, so we're out here milking again. As always, we gotta do it twice a day. Jaylena is the uh, master at milking now. Look how good she's uh, getting this. I think that's not bad for someone that's only been milking for a little over a week. Like maybe today might even be a week, huh? Yeah. I think today's a week. I think we picked them up on Saturday or Sunday last week. So she's doing great. Don't even have a, a, a stand for her. Yes, we're gonna build one. Um, a lot of you been saying that we need to, <clears throat> that I need to step up and build my wife a, a milking stand. I know we just haven't got around to it. We've had a lot of going on. A lot and of rain. Um, huh? A lot of rain. Yeah, a lot of rain and everything. And so uh, we're gonna get to that. We promise. But we got uh, peaches over here eating. Her milking over there and over here. And then, of course, 
Bam Bam over there being Bam Bam. He just ran all the animals out. But guys, here's the fly trap. As you can see, it's still collecting flies. There's a ton of dead flies down in there. As you can see, the fly trap's still working. The one over there on the dog, um, above the dog food, it's collecting some. I think it's just too high. Um, I'll show you that in just a second. Looks like you got a whole lot of milk in there. Yeah, pretty decent amount. We've been using our milk in our coffee. We bought some cereal and I ate a little last night. It tastes great with cereal. It's very rich. I like it. So as you can see, this one, the dog, the dog food's right here. We got some flies in here. Um, still collecting them. But I didn't expect to get a whole lot right here just because it is pretty high off the ground and plus we didn't really come change the bait out or anything. And over there I added some uh, poo poo and it helped a lot. So I'm probably gonna move this one, add some more to it. Um, as you saw that one over there is doing great but I haven't added any more bait to it. Um, I was just real curious to see how long it would last. And so I found out about two days worth um, in this hot Texas sun and then it dries up. So we're gonna move them around. Uh, now there's actually no flies over there or a lot less flies, I'll say that. Um, where the uh, where we keep our dairy goats and so that is a huge bonus and so now we're going to kind of move them probably put them over there next to the uh, uh, chicken nesting boxes and then probably somewhere out here but it's really really helping um, it works you just got to use the right bait you got to put it in the right spot like i told you on our other video i've seen some other youtubers using it and basically said no good it's a scam guys come on you got to be a little smarter than that and realize you can't hang it this high off the ground and barely put any bait because that's not going to work. Let's use some common sense. And so, uh, guys, if you get one of these, please let us know. Um, the ranch uh, fly trap uh, company actually picked two winners for us. Um, I can't think of the names right now on the spot, but we will announce that. They already, I think, placed their orders, which was really, really cool. Um, that was a fair way of picking the winners was the ranch fly trap picked them. Um, and so that way we didn't have to go through and pick. No one gets upset. It was just random picking from them. So again, the ranch fly trap. Thank you so much for that. Uh, we'll link it down in the description and you know, it's really awesome. And hopefully you guys that won, uh, comment down below and then, uh, hopefully you guys will do a video and then we can see that and maybe we'll even post it on our video, um, or a clip of it or something or a photo with the flies that you caught so we just thought that was pretty cool so the other day i if you follow us on social media you know that i pickled some things so these are banana peppers with one jalapeno sliced up and then just jalapeno peppers by themselves and then we have cucumbers which i took the skin off cut them and put them in there um i didn't follow any type of recipe i just kind of winged it to see how it would come out and i probably put about this much vinegar, the rest water with some garlic, salt, and pepper for the cucumbers. Same thing with these. I just added a jalapeno in one and crushed red peppers in the other. And we haven't tried the banana peppers, but Jason and I both tried the cucumbers and they taste great. And we aren't trying to pickle them or at least make them pickles. We just wanted them to taste good and they taste amazing. So I'll definitely be doing this again in the future. I might add a little bit less vinegar next time, but it's great so far. So, a FedEx truck I think came yesterday um, and delivered another package and since you guys seem to really like us opening um, the packages that we get on our videos I'm gonna go ahead and open this real quick for you guys oh my gosh <laughs> Somebody knows us very well. <laughs> very well. Holy, jeez, look at that. Oh man. Chase, we got a 48 pack of something. I don't know who it's from. <laughs> it says Kisha as a user. I don't know what that means. That's pretty funny. That's a lot of wrong noodles. Now it's make all sorts of. It says Kisha, so or Kisha maybe. So, if that's you, let us know. Thank you so much. We will definitely be eating these. A now lot of- Now we use our uh, batter for it. 
Yeah, we can use the crawfish seasoning in it. Um, we'll definitely be eating a lot of these. I know a lot of people don't like the fact that we eat ramen noodles because they're obviously not the healthiest thing to eat. But we are poor. But at 20 cents a pack, 20 cents for dinner, Sometimes you just gotta do what you gotta do. I grew up on this stuff and I'm still alive and kicking. So You're thank you guys. Up. Thank you so much, Keisha. If that's how you say your name, please let us know if I'm saying it right. But thank you so much. This is awesome. Um, I can't wait to see Jason's face when he sees what we got. So that was pretty funny that we got a huge pack of ramen noodles in the middle. That's freaking hilarious. It's awesome. And unfortunately it's raining now. Um, we got a surprise to show you tomorrow. Some new animals that we got from some friends. And chicks are doing good. We got the one that was in there earlier in here now. And then there's a chick coming out right now. So I don't know how many more eggs are going to hatch in there. But I'm pretty cool with what we got so far. Again, these are just eggs we weren't going to eat. So we put them in the incubator. And it's pretty cool. But guys, what did you think of that band? You probably don't like their music so much, but the singer of the band is Brian. He is the little kid that was on Family Ties. He was in the movie Blank Check. He was on Star Trek. He was, you know, in all these cool different, like, horror movies and stuff like that. And now, you know him from that, but we are lucky enough to know him as a friend. And we got to know him through some bands. He was in a band, uh, the Ataris, for a while. And that was really cool. And so... That was pretty awesome to have a movie star and a rock star and the rest of their band, which are freaking awesome, super cool guys, and they're going to be big rock stars one day. They're awesome. I absolutely love their music. We've produced a bunch of their music videos already, and we were doing another one, and it was fun to have them out with all our animals. We just thought it'd be funny since they do the theme song to our channel, and it's a homesteading channel, to have all these goats and stuff like that in their music video because it just kind of fits. But guys, that was really cool to get to uh, see them. We're going to link their music videos that we've done for them down in the description. Go check them out. Uh, if you saw them on the live chat, they did um, the chocolate challenge. They tried that and got burned up. And so it was just a lot of fun hanging out with them. But we are sick and tired of this rain. It's raining again. And we're just going to call it a day. And tomorrow, we're going to hopefully hit it hard again, depending on the weather. So thank you guys, as always, for watching. And we'll see you tomorrow.